The Red Sox are trying to win their fourth game in a row. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper with Mike Kruko. And again, it looks like a great evening for a ball game. But well, it really does, Kuyper. And I'm anxious to get this one started. And now, here's tonight's starting pitcher, Bronson Arroyo. Tonight's game features the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Here's the game's first batter, Derek Jeter. He pulls a ground ball to the left side. Base hit to lead off the inning. Dog, he hammered that bad boy right through the infield for a base hit. Strike two. Strike two. He's lost 32 innings this season, and against the batters are hitting a respectable average of 296. That's a three-pitch strikeout. Three pitches, three strikes, then getting easier in that partner. Curveball down and on the inside corner strike. Oh and two. That is pinpoint control right there. The catcher set a target on the corner and the pitcher just hammered it for a strike. Arroyo misses and it's one and two. He's registered three wins and two losses this season. The count is even at two. Infield's got to think about playing a double play depth right now. And he got him. Next up, Alex Rodriguez. That's fouled off the catcher. He opens up on one and hits a line drive. And here's the home team lineup. Today's starter for the visiting team, Jarrett Wright. Let's check out the defense. Up next, Johnny Damon. This batter pounds the ball off right-handed pitchers. Here comes the first pitch of the at-bat. Strike with a 97 mile an hour fastball. The diamond pattern field really displays this talented grounds crew. Dingo. One ball, one strike. It's hit out to right. He catches it in foul territory. Dirksen is next up. This hitter isn't afraid of right handed pitching. Fastball for a strike. Strike two. And now he falls behind, nothing in two. Up the middle. He's on first with a base hit. Got good job of hitting away from the defense right there. Found a hole. Stepping in, David Ortiz is in there for a strike and it's 0-1. He's registered three wins and four losses on the season. Down and in. This dude has a bevy of pitches in his arsenal. Fastball is in. This guy's got great back control. If he wants, the manager can put the hit and run on right here. He'll definitely get wood on the ball. He takes the walk. He just loses him in that bat. That's a free pass, and we'll see if it comes back to hurt him. Jackson digs in at the play. Against right-handed pitching, this righty does pretty well. There's a close pitch called a ball. 
Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. It's exactly what you saw right there. Oh. Two balls and no strike. Okay, but this righty is struggling. He'll give up a number of walks. Oh. And a high changeup, which you don't see very often. They set that defense at double play depth. If you can get a ground ball right here, they might get two. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. He just lets him get away. The next batter is Trot Nixon. And a fastball in for a strike. All he needs is a deep fly ball, and they should score a run. Makes the catch to record the out. And that's the first run of the game. To me, that's a successful at bat. As a batter, any time you can drive in a run, you've done your job. Misses for a ball. And the count is 2-0. Oh. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your picks. That's exactly what you saw right there. Throws it over for a strike. If the hit goes to right field, they may not want to run. The right fielder's got a cannon for an arm. The delivery. The catch is made by the left fielder. Yeah, nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. After one inning, the score is one to nothing. Ground ball to the right side. He reaches with a leadoff single. This batter is nothing special when he's facing a righty on the mound. And here's the pitch. Strike call. He walks about one per nine innings, so batters need to be prepared to swing. Ground ball to the third baseman. He reaches with a single. Throws it over for a strike. His number one pitch is his fastball. And he gets the call strike. Kite right, looks for them to wave that runner home if the ball hit the center. The center fielder does not throw many guys out at home. Pitchers ahead, one and two. And the pitch. Arroyo strikes him out. And the pitcher wins the battle. Sweet pitch to get the catch. It's hit out to center. Damon should have no problem. Puts it away for the out. Kai, he didn't get all that ball. The fielder strolled over, got under it, made an easy play. This hitter will contribute a hit here, a hit there, but he'll help the team. Ground ball hit the other way to the right side. He's on first with a base hit. Next at the plate, Derek Jeter. This guy is a great hitter. The bases are full with two down. It's hit to the left side. A 
Arroyo throws him with a fastball strand. A three-pitch strikeout. Heading into the bottom of the second, the score is one to nothing. Next up, Mike Lowe. Here's a guy who's been known to struggle at times against right-handed pitching. Wright misses 1-0. Oh. He threw a change of just out of the zone, hoping the batter would chase. Throws it over for a strike. God, this guy's more than capable of going the distance every time he gets on the mound. Hit towards the shortstop. One out. Jeter made it look easy on that out at first, guy. Up next, Jason Wirt. Against righty pitchers, the batter is nothing to write home about. Here's the pitch. There's a strike. There's a strike, one and two. There's a line drive. He's on first with a base hit. Sheets is up. Here's a right-handed hitter that does some things well. Hitting for an average? Well, that's not one of them. He strikes out about seven for nine innings. A pretty impressive total. Gets a strike high in the strike zone. They appeal to first on the check swing. Dingo! Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Well, you talk about making a good pitch right there. He was really backed up against the wall. And then he digs deep, makes great pitches, and gets the strikeout. Break one! Throws it over for a strike. This righty has one great pitch, and he sticks with it to get batters out. Jeter puts it away. Kike is quick reaction. A lot of them make the play on that line drive. Nice play. So they got one base hit, but couldn't do anything with it. Reed will hit next. He might be able to beat out a butt if he takes a look at the infield. It's hit out towards short. And he's out. This righty hits right-handed pitching pretty well. Smallenberg sends it to first. Out of the zone, that's a ball. He tried to set up the hitter. Throw one wide of the zone and see if he'll chase. Why not? Stepping in, Alex Rodriguez. Just out of the fielder's reach. There's out number three. After two and a half, the score is one to nothing. Easy play for the left fielder. Reed makes the grab for the out. The next batter is David Ortiz. Ball. Taken for a ball. ball. 
Out of the zone, that's a ball. He delivers. Pitch taken for a ball. Line drive to center field. He's headed to second. A rare inside the park home run. Jackson comes to the plate. They check with the first base umpire. He delivers. Hit towards the shortstop. Got him. Next at the plate, Trot Nixon. Break one. No swing. Pitcher looks a little annoyed with that call, Kike. He sure thought the batter went around, and I agree. Swings and misses. <laughs> And here's the delivery. This one's got a chance. Indeed, trouble as it bounces up against the wall. There's a double. That was not an easy pitch to hit. He was able to lay out a double. This guy swings a decent bat, but he's probably not going to win any batting title. That'll do it for the Red Sox in the third inning. After three, the score is two to nothing. This is a pretty good right-handed batter right now. One ball, one strike. Hit to the left side. Got him for the out. Ground ball hit the other way to the right side. Another single. Oh, that's good hand speed right there. He just rolled his wrist right through it. Base hit. Oh, that was sweet. This right-handed hitter has truly a needy swing. It's hit to the left side. He's on first with a base hit. Now there's a perfect example of sound fundamentals. He did not try to do too much. He just executed on the pitch. Now batter. Hits a foul ball. Ball. Pitch misses. Can I expect the runner to go home when a ball hit the center field? The center fielder is not going to intimidate anybody with his throw. He's got two strikes on him, but he freaks out. He chased that thing, and he missed it by a mile. Two outs. He swiped five bases. Here's the pitch. He comes up a little bit short. And the run comes home. The score is two to one. Now 
Stepping in one for two, Derek Jeter. Hit sharply into left field for a single. That was not an easy catch and all, big boy. Great defense. Next up, Mike Lowe. Pitch taken for a ball. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. He delivers. The pitch is hit to center field. He's got it for the out. Nothing special about that one. Just picked up the ball and got a beat on it, made the play. Up next, Jason Wirt. Pitch misses for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Break one. The count's even at one. The ball is back. Way back. A solo home run. He hung that one out of the plate. The result was predictable. A home run. Makes a pitch high. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. There's an out. A liner. He's on with a two out single. Kite, that was a good push of hitting. He didn't try to do too much, he just took what they gave him. And he takes a, a fastball up high. What a know. The pitch. One ball and one strike. He's hitting 262 with no home runs and 18 Great. runs batted in. Great pitch on the black. Would have been a call strike even if the batter didn't swing through it. Ball. Takes a pitch high. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. It's a full count. Damon is off. That'll do it for the Red Sox in the fourth. After four, the score is three to one. The next batter is Jeremy Reed. One and oh, the count. One two count. He fouled it off to the right. The Yankees have a right hander up in the bullpen. He hits a roller over towards first. One out. Mollenberg takes the pitch to right. What a catch! 
Hey, I'm sure he came out here with the intention of having a great game, but hey, it's baseball. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you plan them. On the ground. Rodriguez is aboard with two outs. Okay, I've seen this guy make these kinds of plays before. This time, though, a little short. Now it's a play. Designated hitter. The pitch is hit to right field. What a catch. That'll do it for the Yankees in the fifth inning. After four and a half, New York trails by two. Ortiz steps into the box. Ball. Takes a tailing fastball. One and two. Strike three sends him back to the dugout with nothing to show for that A.B. He started to swing but managed to stop. 1-1 one, one count. He swung through the pitch. The pitch is taken out to right. The catch is made. Nixon is the next hitter. Break one. Back up the middle, it's a 1-2-3 inning. With four innings left, the Yankees trail by two. Oh. Takes low. Yeah. Out of play. Takes low. The pitcher really threw a poor breaking ball right there, and the batter had no choice but let that one go by. Hit deep to left. Worth should have no problem. And he puts it away for the out. The Yankees have some activity down in their pen. Burba takes one inside. Change misses inside. That's a ball. It's a full count. It's a slow runner over towards third. Terrific at bat right here. That's in foul ground, but he should have room. In foul territory, makes the catch. Guerrero takes his turn at bat. And it's 0 and 1. There's a line drive. He's on with a single. 
Got that ball he can handle, he got on base. Here it comes. Takes a tailing fastball. And a swing. And a miss. One and two. Pulled on the ground. Foul. That second strikeout. After five and a half, the score is three to one. Takes the pitch just off the plate, one and oh. He swiped two bases. Two balls and no strikes. Two balls and one strike. There's a line drive. Base hit to lead off the inning. Next up to play, Mike Lowe. Takes the pitch just off the plate, 1 0. If ever they're going to steal a bag, it's right now with this guy. He really knows how to steal a bag. Unbelievable catch. That is a super effort to make that catch. Stepping in at a perfect two for two, Jason Wirt. This dude's got some wheels and he knows how to pick a pitch to move on. Don't be surprised if he's taken off right here. What a catch. He just put his glove up to protect himself and he caught the ball. Happy birthday. Delivery. Oh, she takes, and it's ball one. Right, this runner can read pitches like nobody's business, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him oh. trying to steal a bag right here. Oh. Pitch misses for a ball. In fact, right now, this pitcher can't locate his pitches to save his life. Four in a row out of the zone. Nothing positive comes out of this guy Nibble. He's falling behind, he's falling behind, he finally walks the game. Stepping in one for three, Johnny Damon. Ball. Pitch taken for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Ball. It looks like he's in some pain. The trainer will have to take a look at him. The count is two and two. Three-two count. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. The runners are off. Strike three, and he'll take a seat. With three innings remaining, the Red Sox lead by a mere two runs. Next up, Derek Jeter. Line drive, he laid out and makes the grab. Oh, God, he makes a great play on that line drive. Got a good read off the bat and makes the out. Up next, Jeremy Reed. Now the skipper's got to give the bunt some thought here. Every run counts. Swing and a miss on the changeup. He was thinking about something else with that swing. Foul ball. Pitch taken for a ball. 
terrible pitch. A slider way off the catcher's target, and the batter just watched it go by. Two and two, the count. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Full count here. He gets the base on balls. Kite, this guy needs to bear down and throw strikes. You don't want to be walking people this late in the ballgame. That's a hot shot. He's on with a base hit. The key to that play was the runner moving into scoring position. At bat with a single, Alex Rodriguez. Here's a guy that understands hitting, and it shows. Line shot. He's around third. And a run scores. That's an RBI single. The skipper has pulled the infield in. Here you go. Play one. Take you now. Break one. All he's got to do right now is drive that ball to the outfield, pick up that run from third. Hit the other way to the right side. The tying run scores. Here's the pitch. Takes the pitch just off the plate. One and zero. Oh. Next pitch. Hey, partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might be able to induce a ground ball to start, too. Ball. Takes low. What a terrific at bat. Kai pitchers hate batters who just keep fouling balls off. Now three and two. That's walk number five allowed in this game. Well, you know what the old saying is, a walk's as good as a hit. Now they have a base runner. Burba up next. This is a good move, Kite, because right-handed hitters have some trouble picking up off-speed pitches from right-handed pitchers. A deep fly ball should be good enough to score that run around third base. And it's hit to right. Nixon makes the catch for the out. The runner scores on the sack fly. Now, I know he wanted to get a hit in that at bat, but he ended up getting it deep enough to score the runner from third. That's a great A.B.
Here's a right-handed hitter that has moderate success against right-handed pitching. And the pitch. The ball is hit the other way to the right side. Kipe, he swung late and put it into foul territory. The ball is hit to right. Nixon should have no problem. That'll do it for the Yankees in the seventh. All right, everybody, up on their feet. Time for the seventh inning stretch. Yeah, I could use a bit of a break. He could be the go-ahead run. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Low and inside. The fact the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. He takes his base. Blocks always seem to come around to hurt you. He falls behind the batter and just never gets back into the bat. Double play situation. Pitcher's got to try and keep the ball down here to force the hitter to hit the ball on the ground. The right fielder glides under this one. The right fielder makes the catch. Stepping in, Trot Nixon. The tying run crosses the plate. That's an RBI single. These guys really run the bases well. That aggressiveness really showed as the runner went from first to third on the single. Break one. All this guy's got to do is hit the ball marginally deep, and they should score the runner from third easily. No swing. He went around, Kai, but the young fell he did. Grounder. He dives and makes a fantastic catch. There's out number three with the runner left stranded at third. That's exactly what they were looking for. They needed the D to turn two. With two innings left, it's a 4-4 tie. Bringing in a righty to face the right-handed hitter is a good move, partner, because it creates a mismatch in the pitcher's favor. Oh, and one, the count. That's a ground ball hit to the second baseman. Base hit to lead off the inning. Well, that's how you get things going. There are a ton of options now. The runner in first and no outs. Up next with one single already, Derek Jeter. They need to get a run right here. To do so, they might want to give up an out. There's a push bunt. And he's out at first base. Well, that's good managing right there. They needed to move the base runner up, and the safest way to do that was with the sacrifice bunt. The next batter is Jeremy Reed. This southpaw is a C-plus hitter against right-handed pitching. 
fouled back off the catcher. They've got their big stick in the on-deck circle. He delivers. That's a ground ball to the left side. Out! Low made him look easy on that as first guy. That's a 95 mile hour fastball for a strike. Now let's see if he can take advantage of the runner on second and score this run. Smallenberg takes inside. Two balls, two strikes. Down he goes on strike. After seven and a half, it's a 4-4 tie. Next up to play, Mike Lowe. Here comes the first pitch of the at-bat. Pitch taken for a ball. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Taken for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Right one. Two ball, two strike count. The pitch is taken out to right. Sends it to the cutoff man. Two base hit. Bringing in the righty right here is a good move because right-handed hitters can have trouble picking up his breaking pitches. Next stop, Jason Ward. Players are taught that if you're in second, you're going to go on anything hit on the ground on the right side of the infield. A ground ball right here would open up that scenario. He swiped one base. Here's the pitch. Reed should have no problem. The left fielder makes the catch. Hey, what the fun? He delivers. And here's the delivery. He started to swing too early. Hit to right field. He's got it. Go ahead, runs only 90 feet away. Up next, Johnny Damon. The count's 1-0. and oh. He delivers. Ball. Taken for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter change your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Ball. High for a ball. He swiped eight bases. He pulls one out of line. The go-ahead run scores. He comes through with two outs and drives in a run. And he takes the fastball up high. Just the bit inside to make it two and one. With this count, I don't think the pitcher can afford to throw to the ball. He's really in trouble. Now, knowing that, the offense could take advantage and put the hit and run on it. Check swing fouled.
Hit to left field. That'll do it for the Red Sox in the eighth. After eight innings, the score is five to four. Stepping in two for four, Alex Rodriguez. Here we go. This is what it's all about, big boy. This is a good move, Kai, because right-handed hitters have some trouble picking up off-speed pitches from right-handed pitchers. He swiped four bases. Oh, and two count. A ball. Oh. Two two count. Oh. The count runs full. The fact the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Strike three sends him back to the dugout with nothing to show for that A.B. Hey, Kai, he was able to get ahead in the count. The batter never caught up. Good strike there. The count's 0-1. And here's the delivery. Pitch taken for a ball. The count is even at two. The fact the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Three and two. He's batting 307 with 14 home runs and 33 RBIs. Hard hit ball. There's another single. Right on the corner for a stride. They set that defense a double play depth. If you can get a ground ball right here, they might get two. It's hit up the middle. Safe. That's the tying run. Well, I don't know about that throw. He needs to find the target and fire it over. Burba steps into the batter's box. Gets her. He's got it. What a tremendous diving play. We got a tense situation going out there. The go ahead and run stand on third base. Guerrero takes one inside. Get on the ground the other way. The count is two and two. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Down he goes on strikes.
Going into the bottom of the ninth, this contest is tied. Now Stepping in, David Ortiz. He fouled it off to the left. He comes up a little bit short. He's on with a leadoff single. Jackson takes, and it's ball one. He delivers. Pitch taken for a ball. It's got to be a good time to start the runner on first and play hit and run. The count dictates that the pitcher has to throw something over the plate. Swung on and missed. The fielder is retreating. It's off the wall. He's rounding third. They get him with the tag. Now Stepping in two for three, Trot Nixon. This guy isn't great against right-handed pitching, but he does all right. He kite the key to scoring runs is cashing in on these run scoring situations. Let's see if they can knock in that guy at second school run. Fastball misses in. He opens up and hits a line drive. That's the winning run. The game is over. The Red Sox have won four straight games. Fulk picks up the win. Garcia is the loser. The final score, the Boston Red Sox, six. The New York Yankees, five. Join us tomorrow when Boston Red Sox and New York Yankees. Thank you for coming out to the ballpark.